Let me ask you a question. When you're trying to make healthier choices, what's the first thing you grab instead of soda? For many people, it's diet soda. No sugar, no calories, same sweet taste. Sounds like a win, right? But research suggests the story isn't so simple. In fact, in some cases, diet sodas and artificial sweeteners may be linked to the very problems they were meant to prevent. Artificial sweeteners like aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin are 200 to 600 times sweeter than sugar, but with almost no calories. On paper, it looks perfect, the taste without the sugar. But here's where things get complicated. Your body doesn't just respond to taste, it responds to how taste matches energy. When your tongue detects sweet, your brain expects calories to follow. When those calories don't arrive, the brain may get confused. Some studies suggest this mismatch can increase cravings for real sugar, making it harder to control appetite. Another area of concern is the gut. Your gut microbiome, the trillions of bacteria in your um, digestive tract, play a major role in blood sugar regulation. Research indicates that certain artificial sweeteners, especially saccharin and sucralose, may disrupt this balance. And when the gut microbiome is out of balance, insulin resistance can worsen, making blood sugar harder to control. There are also large observational studies that have found associations between regular diet soda consumption and higher risks of weight gain, obesity, and type 2 diabetes. Now, these studies don't prove causation. We can't say diet soda causes diabetes, but the consistent pattern across populations does raise important questions. So, what does this mean in practical terms? If you've been drinking diet soda for years, you don't need to panic. But it does mean that replacing regular soda with diet soda isn't the long-term solution. It's a lateral move, not a healing one. The better approach? Real hydration. Plain water is always the gold standard. If you want flavor, sparkling water with lemon, lime, or cucumber is refreshing and satisfying. Unsweetened herbal teas, like hibiscus, chamomile, or mint, offer variety without confusing your body's natural signals. Here's a practical tip. If you drink several diet sodas a day, don't pressure yourself to quit overnight. Start by replacing one with sparkling water or tea. Over time, your taste buds adapt, and the ultra-sweet flavor of diet soda may even start to feel too strong. In my years of practice, I've seen many patients try to outsmart sugar with artificial sweeteners, only to stay trapped in cycles of cravings and poor blood sugar control. But when they switch to water and whole natural drinks, they notice real changes, less craving, more energy, better blood sugar balance. So here's the bottom line. Artificial sweeteners may not be as harmless as they appear. They don't fix the underlying problem of diabetes. If you want to take steps toward true healing, the best choice is to swap both soda and diet soda for water and other natural unsweetened drinks. Every sip you take is a decision. And when you choose hydration that supports your body, instead of tricking it, you're choosing healing. Be sure to like this video and share with the people you love so together we can impact more people to better health. And please click the notification button so as I upload more videos, you'll be the first to know.